Hello friends, this is Ashwin. In this video, we will see Alec Hines' 19 move brilliancy against Russian Grandmaster Levin Fish. The game was played in 1912. Alec Hines had a white piece in this game. He started the game with this pawn to d4, now pawn to c5, pawn to d5, and we have this Benoni defense on the board. Knight to f6 was played, knight to c3 by Alec Hines, pawn to d6, pawn to e4, and now pawn to g6, and Alec Hines played this pawn to f4, and white is already threatening this. Uh, a pawn to e5 so black played this knight b to d7 knight to f3 was played and here black played this uh, a6 instead of this uh, bishop to g7 because in case of this bishop to g7 white can play this pawn to e5 and after pawn capture e5 f capture e5 and knight to g4 this pawn to e6 knight to e5 and now white can play this bishop b5 check and black has to move his king so black will lose his right to castle and plus White would be having nice half open file for his uh, uh, rook after castling. So this is really great position for white to play. So after knight to f3, this a6 move was played to stop this bishop to b5. Anyways, after a6, Elekhan played this pawn to e5, d capture on e5, f capture on e5, attacking this knight, knight to g4, and now pawn to e6 was played. And black played this uh, knight d to e5. So in case of capturing on e6, white can also capture on e6 and now knight to e5 can be made by this queen capture on d8, king capture on d8 and now knight capture e5, knight capture e5, bishop to f4 and after long castle, white would achieve really good position. So after pawn to e6, black played this knight d to e5 and now bishop to f4 attacking this knight. In case of this bishop to g7, white can play this queen to e2 and after knight to f3 check g capture f3 and knight f6 after e capture on f7 king capture on f7 white keeps all the pressure so after bishop to f4 black played this uh, knight capture on f3 and black was hoping for this uh, queen capture on f3 where black can play this pawn capture e6 and after queen capture g4 black can play this pawn to e5 win his piece back on f f4 and black achieve a really good position i mean at least equality so after knight capture on f3 elekhan played this g capture on f3 this brilliant move and after knight to f6 bishop to c4 it might be better for white to first play this pawn capture on f7 but anyways we have this bishop to c4 on the board and now black replied with pawn capture on e6 d capture on e6 and black played this queen to b6 attacking this b2 pawn and this e6 pawn but we'll look what happened in case of this queen capture on d1 then rook capture on d1 say bishop to g7 and now bishop to c7 threatening this uh, checkmate uh, on d8 and say sword castle and now white can play this uh, bishop to b6 and now white would win this pawn on c5 and plus maintains all the pressure so this is good position for white Therefore, after this d capture on e6, black played this queen to b6 attacking both the pawn on b2 and on e6. So, Elekhan played here queen to e2 and this brilliant move offers the piece. I mean, if you try and save piece say, say after queen capture b2, if you try and save both the pieces then by playing this uh, king to d2, then actually black is winning here after this knight to h5 attacking this bishop, say bishop to e5 attacking the rook but now comes this bishop to h6 check and after king to d3 bishop capture e6 is just winning for example bishop capture e6 and now rook to d8 and black can hunt white's king in the middle of the board for example this uh, knight to d5 and now knight f4 is uh, a winning queen at least because if bishop capture on f4 then queen to d4 is just checkmate so after queen capture on b2 Elekhan played this brilliant move, knight to b5, offering this knight and also this rook and therefore the another rook on h1. In the game, black played this queen capture on a1, but we'll see what happened in case of pawn capture on b5. But now bishop capture on b5 check, bishop to d7 force, and now e capture on d7 check, and after king to f7, bishop to c4 check, king to g7, and queen to e6 is just winning for white. So, Levin Fish, black decided to play this queen capture on a1, check, king to f2, sacrificing the another rook. 
So this is double rook sacrifice, queen capture on h1 and now comes this knight to c7 check. The only move is king to d8. Now queen to d2 check, bishop to d7 was played in the game and after pawn capture on d7, uh, black resigned in view of this knight to e6 checkmate and if you capture say pawn on d7 then bishop to e6 and checkmate on next move I mean queen capture on d7 so the only move after pawn capture on d7 is pawn to e5 to stop the checkmate but uh, this is not sufficient even because knight e6 check and say now king to e7 and now pawn promotion into queen check rook capture d8 check queen capture on d8 check king to f7 force and after knight capture on f8 king g7 only move and queen to e7 is checkmate so after this uh, bishop d7 and e capture d7 black resign in this position so friends how was the game i hope you did enjoy this one thanks for watching bye bye